December 2015, the non-profit foundation XPRIZE, which designs and manages public competitions, challenged researchers and inventors around the world to develop better technologies for mapping the ocean floor. Wednesday, March 7th, nine finalists were awarded an equal part of a $1 million intermediate prize after the judges ruled that their prototypes are good enough to advance to the next phase, testing in real-life situations. Ocean X Prize lead, oceanographer Kyotika Virmani, says we know more about the surface of Mars than the floor of our own oceans. It may only be four kilometers away, but it's a new planet. It has aliens that we've not yet found. It has landforms that we're not yet aware of. The competing technologies range from artificial intelligence and aerial drones to autonomous surface and underwater vehicles. But the competition has another important goal, finding an alternative to using ships to map the ocean floor. One of the reasons that we don't yet have a good map of the sea floor is it's a very expensive proposition. Um, so, and a big portion of that are the ships and going to sea. So we've really pushed um, and all teams are now going to and are deploying from the coastline. In addition to the X Prize, the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration will award a $1 million bonus prize for development of the so-called underwater smart sniffer. That's a piece of technology that will detect a chemical or biological signal and autonomously track it to its source. Vermani says a smart sniffer should be able to detect the chemical or biological signal of a sunk ship or a downed plane. Later this year, the finalists will have the opportunity to prove that their technologies can map the seafloor up to 4,000 meters deep and bring back 10 high-resolution images. XPRIZE hopes the new devices will lead to acquiring a detailed map of all the ocean's floors by 2030. George Putich, VOA News.